Today, I'll be taking you through an actual day in the life of the Apple Watch Ultra, the features that I use, and how long the battery is going to last today. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. I grab my cup of coffee. Battery update, 7.23 a.m., 92%. I got six hours of sleep. I know I need to get more sleep, but I'm really trying to make my immigrant parents proud and get this YouTube channel off the ground. But what I really like to look at is the consistent sleep schedule over the last 14 days, make sure I'm sleeping enough because that's the most important part. And then I'll check the weather because I'm going for a run. Looks like it's 45 degrees, UV index is low, so I don't need sunscreen, but I do need gloves. No rain because this is New York, so we got to make sure how the weather's going to be like before we go out for this run. I'm going to grab my shoes, put on some clothes, get a sweater, and get ready to get a workout in because it's really important to just move your body early in the morning. I try to do that as often as possible. I really honestly just try to do that for these videos so that way you think I work out and stuff. But first, who am I kidding? We got to check our phone. The first thing I will fill out is my Whoop journal to kind of understand how my lifestyle behaviors are impacting my sleep. And then I'll check my Aura Ring data to make sure, hey, how does that correlate with the Whoop and the Apple Watch sleep data? They're all different. Then I check HRV for training to see, okay, how ready am I to train today? Then my sleep debt to see how my sleep debt has been over the last two weeks, my Apple Health data, and then finally my Garmin data. And then lastly, Natural Cycles. This is a really cool app that I've been learning a lot about. And finally, the last app is Strava. Gotta like give everyone kudos, so go follow me on Strava. Now it's time to run. I'm an unnecessary maniac, so I start my run on my Garmin and my Apple Watch. Today I'm doing a zone two run, so I'm wearing a heart rate strap on my chest, and then the Apple Watch is showing me which heart rate zones I'm in. I'm trying to stay within zone two just to build my metabolic density. It looks like I ran about 6.2 miles. I'll check my stats and data afterwards. Like, hey, was I in zone two? How far off may I have drifted? And should I have gone slower or faster? keeping the pacing nice and slow, nice and easy. And then I'll check some other stats and data. Not super valuable and important, but it's just interesting to look at. Now it's time to shower and I really don't like showering. So I'm just gonna rinse off the Apple Watch and call it a day and open up the beautiful curtains. Battery update, it's 9.51 a.m. and I have 81% battery, so I did a run, I slept. I charged my watch right before I went to bed to 100% last night. So 20% to track my sleep and to do a one hour long run this morning. Time to consume more coffee and get some computer work done and editing in the morning. Guess it's time to wake up. More like time to take a, I mean, don't put, don't put that in. And today I'm working on this Apple Watch Garmin video, go watch that. And then I have a therapist one with, uh, with BetterHelp. I'm doing all right, how are you? Good, good. Happy Tuesday. Honestly, therapy is so important. Make sure to find a therapist, whether it's online or in person, and get some therapy done. Therapy, check. Use my BetterHelp link below if you want to support the channel. <laughs> hey, BetterHelp, want to sponsor me? Battery update, it's 11.49 a.m., 78% battery. This Apple Ultra is killing it. It just will not die. I know last time I disconnected it and I was using cellular, but today it's connected to my phone as well as I'm at home with Wi-Fi. I'm gonna check the weather again because I'm gonna go outside. UV index is at three, which is a bit high, so I kinda wanna wear sunscreen to protect my skin. And then I look at my notifications, I see that Tejas has actually done an outdoor walk and I love this feature because I can send him some sassy replies and it's just a great way to build rapport and build connections with my friends. And one of my absolute favorite features of the Apple Watch is unlocking my MacBook with my watch. So I don't have to type in my code or use Touch ID. I literally just wear the watch, I'm near my laptop, and then it automatically unlocks. It makes it super helpful to just jump into doing work or watching myself because I'm full of myself. Now it's time to fuel my inner Casey, grab my boosted board. I'm heading to the gym to get my workout in. I have the privilege to have a trainer who's gonna train me today. He's gonna walk me through some workouts to get my legs really strong. I'm gonna press the action button to start my workout. It's strength training today. We're doing a lot of legs because I have a goal of hitting a sub five minute mile and we're building speed, acceleration and strength in my lower body as well as trunk stability. So we got a lot of kettlebells and core work. And trust me, I did way over 500 reps. I just couldn't put all the clips in here. I hope this inspires you to get into the gym because consistency is greater than anything else battery update it's 4 6 p.m 65 percent battery apple watch ultra is still killing it grab the boosted boards time to go around new york city one of the cool features about the booster board is the app it has it shows me how fast i'm going how far i'm going as well as the battery on my booster board so now we're at the apple store i'm going to return my ipad because i just buy way too many things look at these apple watch bands maybe i need to buy more stuff no 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 we're leaving we're leaving we're leaving i get home the booster board sends me how much battery, my top speed, and then I'm gonna check my emails. Just kidding, checking emails in the Apple Watch is way too hard. I bought more things because I spend way too much money that I don't have. And now I'm headed to, to go teach a yoga class. If you didn't know I teach yoga, I used Apple Pay to buy a smoothie right before my class. Fun fact, this is actually my last yoga class at this place. One thing I absolutely love about the Apple Watch is the volume control with the digital crown. So when I'm teaching class and I'm walking around the yoga mats, I can increase the volume, lower the volume, set to the next song, the previous song, 
strong and that is immensely valuable to have this remote volume control. Not only do I love controlling my iPhone volume, but when I'm at home, I can control my home pods, whether it's in the bedroom or the living room to change the music as well as change the volume. Battery update, 6.24 p.m., 57% battery life. My good friends Tejas and Colt came to take my last yoga class, and because of that, we're gonna go sauna and cold plunge. I like to use the mind and body workout feature when I do that. Press the action button to get started. And now we're going underwater. I tried to activate the dive computer, but it didn't really turn on. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now Colt here, he's dying. One more minute. One more minute? Yeah. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Now this is where the action button comes into play. I love pressing the segment so that way I know when I'm switching between hot and cold, how much time I've been inside of each one. And now I'm gonna compare that data with the Garmin cause you gotta double check that your heart rate's the same. And we just finished our sauna ice cold plunge session. I love using this feature where I'm injecting all the water. Just so satisfying. Battery update, 7.39 PM, 51% battery. Now that we've finished our workout, we're gonna go get some food. Today is a day in the life of the Apple Watch Ultra. Cause it's not like you've already seen this in the last five videos I've made. But I respect it man, it's getting new views, I keep at it. I would do the same thing. We really enjoy this place called Dark Side of the Moo in Manhattan. They have exotic burgers like kangaroo and camel. If you ever go, let them know Sherman Share sent you. This guy ordered the biggest burger. It's not about the size. Look like Siri, start an outdoor walk. Siri, start an outdoor walk. Start an outdoor walk. I try to use Siri for as many things as possible, but as you can tell, it can be frustrating at times and this is just one of those moments. But we have about 20 minute walk home where I'm going to enjoy the city that never sleeps and then get ready for going to bed. Siri, bedroom lights 100%. Bedroom lights red. The bedroom lights are off. I've sent the request. As I'm preparing for bed, I love to turn the lights red and dim them just so it's easier to fall asleep. Sleep mode is activated so that way the watch will track my sleep. Battery update, 11.18 p.m., 40% battery. I'm going to bed and I'm pretty sure it has enough juice to track my sleep as well as do some things tomorrow. So I'm gonna push it and see how far we can go tomorrow before the battery actually dies. The next day, battery update, 8.37 a.m., 24% battery. I woke up around 8 a.m. I'm gonna check my sleep stats from the night before. Got seven hours, which is good. 50 minutes of deep sleep, staying relatively consistent. Time to go for a run. I got about an hour and 20 minute zone two run in today, which has felt amazing. Battery update, 10.06 a.m., 11% battery after that long run. Full day, two nights of sleep tracking and two big runs. That's the Apple Watch Ultra. Go watch another video right here.